Do you wish that Lightroom Mobile had all of your presets from Lightroom Classic CC? Now, they do. Hey, this is Scott Weidenkiewicz, a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. In this video, we are going to talk about Adobe Lightroom presets on Adobe Lightroom Mobile. So listen up. You have been using Adobe Lightroom Classic, formerly known as just Adobe Lightroom, for years, and you've built up a portfolio of presets that you either purchased or created, and now you've been trying to get them on your mobile device. And there are hacks and workarounds, and I even create the hacks and workarounds for my own presets and sell them on my website. But Adobe has just released an update to Adobe Lightroom Classic CC, Adobe Lightroom CC and Adobe Lightroom Mobile to get all of your presets synced throughout the entire ecosystem. Now, one of the cool parts about Adobe's recent updates to Lightroom and Photoshop is now all of your Lightroom presets work in Adobe Camera Raw, which means they also work in Bridge and Photoshop. But it also means that they've synced all of these presets in the entire ecosystem, as including mobile. So I want to show you on my, on my iPhone 10 how you can use the presets that you've created on your computer in Lightroom Classic CC and use them on your phone, your iPad, or on your desktop in Lightroom CC. So check this out. We are inside of Adobe Lightroom Mobile and I'm, I pulled up a photo and all I wanna do is scroll over in the edit tab. So I'm in edit tab. I'm gonna scroll over at the bottom to presets and then it's gonna pull up all of my presets. Now. Depending on how many presets you have in your Lightroom collection, it'll take longer for this part, this drop down, to expand. As you can see, it's taking a little bit. It'll take longer for it to pull down all of your presets and give you the list of everything you have. You can see I've got a giant list of presets. I'm going to go to my presets. I'm going to go to. Um, I'm gonna, I am going to go to. I think I'm going to go to uh, Delightful. And inside of Delightful, I've got a variety of presets. And I'm going to go to a color fade preset and I'm just going to select that. And there we go. I can go to a different one or a different one. And you can see, you can also see the previews of all of your presets of how it would look on your photo. When you're good to go, you just hit save with the check mark and you're done, right? You can, of course, edit it just like you can with any other preset. And now what's really nice is it'll also sync all of this on your desktop too. It'll sync in uh, Adobe um, Lightroom Classic CC as well as Adobe Lightroom CC. And uh, so you can see all of the presets are here. Again, I can choose a drop down. I can switch to any of the presets that I have in my collection. So for example, if I want to switch to, let's say, Master Labs and Nikon, and I want to switch to that one, I can just easily switch just like that. So all of my Master Labs presets are also on my uh, on my phone as well as on desktop. So that is the phone portion of this. All the presets are synced. Again, like you can on desktop, you can also um, you can also edit these further so you can adjust the, the light, the contrast, dehaze, uh, the tone curve, everything just like you can on the computer. Now let's go back to the computer. I've got a couple more things to show you. Here we are in Lightroom CC and you can see that the photo has actually synced from my phone to the computer in Lightroom CC, and it's showing the exact preset that I use. But I want to show you that all the presets that were in Lightroom Mobile are also available here. So I'm in the develop slider here, and I'm going to click on presets at the bottom. It's going to bring up another tab that uh, is actually going to load all of my presets that are in Lightroom Creative Cloud. And uh, I can scroll down and see all the same presets that were available on the phone and now they're here and I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more and here is the delightful preset that I was just using for my collection and from here I could also go ahead and just you know switch the presets on the fly to anything else and if I hover over them you will also see that it changes in real time very fast as well now here's the trick with in order to get the the, the, the photos from Lightroom uh, class from Lightroom CC to Lightroom mobile you have to have Lightroom CC on your computer, okay? You can do what I'm doing and have Lightroom Classic CC alongside Lightroom CC on the computer. 
I make all of my presets in Lightroom Classic CC, and then when I launch Lightroom CC, it actually imports those presets and then syncs them in Creative Cloud, which then shows up in Lightroom Mobile on my phone. Talk about a time saver. Instead of having to do the hack workaround to get your presets on Lightroom Mobile, which also takes additional time on top of it, on top of just the hack itself, you have to do copy and paste from photo to photo to get your presets across instead of just one click and or one tap, if you want to call it that. Now it's all just synced up. You can also build your presets in Lightroom CC if you don't want to use classic CC, but either way, you need Lightroom CC on your computer with all of your presets in it in order for the sync to go into Lightroom mobile. Now what's cool is that by doing this, Lightroom can in theory also give it to you in Lightroom web. So if you're ever only on de uh, on the computer in, in a browser, in theory, down the road, if they enable this, you'll have all of your presets also available there. Now Adobe is just releasing this. It's been in beta for some time and I'm very glad to see it's finally out. Um, if you have any questions, comment, let me know. Otherwise, I am really excited for this update to Adobe Lightroom's Creative Cloud system. Good going, Adobe. You finally did something that people have been requesting for some time. Next, continue working on speed. If you like this video, click that subscribe button below now. I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday whenever possible. You don't want to miss it.